If you enjoy any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite Figure 2-in-1 review on the brand new Elite 65 Aiden English and Rusev. Very excited to pick up both of these figures from ringsidecollectibles.com using the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. They look absolutely incredible. Cannot wait to get into them. Um, there are a few gripes that I want to get into, but I guess we'll have to get into those as we open up the figure. We're going to do some comparisons as we always do, and we're going to take a look at these figures, guys. So as you can see in their packaging, you can see a front viewing window of both of the figures. You spin them to the right and you can see their names on the sides of the box there. You flip it one more time and you will see a beautiful picture of Aiden English and his incredible voice. And then a great picture of beautiful Rusev looking great there. You got the rest of the figures in the line. You can read the little read up if you'd like to. You can pause it right now. Spinning it around, you have a beautiful picture of Aiden, another beautiful picture of handsome, beautiful Rusev, and then that is pretty much it for the packaging, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and crack Rusev Day out of their packaging. So here we have Aiden English and Rusev out of their packaging, guys, and at first glance, these figures do look incredible. Again, I do have my gripes on both, and we're going to get into that as we go through the review of both figures, but at first glance, I mean, the, these are total upgrades. You know, this is our first Aiden English Elite. I do have a custom we're going to compare it to, and I think that's going to be a very interesting comparison when you take a look at it. Uh, but we'll get into that later on. And then, of course, we have our Rusev, which this is our first Elite Rusev since the TNF Rusev Walmart exclusive. And then, of course, we did have the Elite 34, which I kind of took both of mine and mixed them together to make one epic Rusev custom that I've been using ever since he cut his hair off. And it's been a really good placeholder, and I think it it's going to hold up well up next to this brand new Elite 65. Can't wait to get into it, guys. But first of all, we're going to review Aiden English's accessories, and then Aiden English, and then we'll flip over and take a look at my beautiful Rusev and his accessories. All right, guys, so diving into Aiden English's accessories first, you can actually see here we have a slew of stuff to cover. First of all, he does come with his interchangeable hands. He comes with two interchangeable fists, which I think work well. I kind of wish that uh, you'll see on the regular figure we got an open mic hand, and then we got his signature beautiful singing voice hand is what I'm going to call it. It's sort of like a Randy Orton style. You know how he does the thing on the turnbuckle. So I wish we got two of these, but you know, not a big deal. I can always handle some fists, you know, so you can lay some freaking wood to some people here. But we also got this WWE microphone. It does have like the updated look to it, you know, with the, uh, the little prong. It's like a triangle instead of the square shape. So that is nice. We get a nice little black scarf with little details on it. I like the way this looks. I'm, I'm digging that a lot. Uh, I don't think we've seen this before. We've seen this mold before, I'm sure, with Elias, but we have not seen this pattern. Obviously, they wanted to make it accurate to uh, Aiden English there. Uh, we get these great circular-looking glasses, sort of like a mix between regular sunglasses and then the, uh, you know, the, the HBK versions with the circles there. And the only gripe I have about this is, guys, it literally will not go on the head scan. It will not go on there nice. It's just sort of, I don't know, it will not sit on there nicely. It does not fit the head like, you know, other head skins do or glasses, old glasses usually do, with, you know, Edge and guys like that. It will not fit the head the way you would want. So when you stick it on here, it's sort of just, I don't know, like you could literally, I could sit here for 20 minutes and try to place it, but they don't, they don't go on well. So you can see there, that is sort of a bummer. Sort of like the Dusty Rhodes from Elite 63. His hat didn't really go on that well. That's what it's like. And then we get this beautiful cloth jacket robe type deal his entrance robe i guess you would call it uh black cloth it's sort of like a smaller version of rikishi's that we got with the hall of champions it looks really nice uh it does have velcro so you can you know obviously see you guys saw what it looked like on the figure at the beginning of the video so that is what that is that is a beautiful looking robe very nice to have a cloth piece there and that pretty much does it for all of his accessories, guys. Again, you do get a handful of stuff, which I am excited for. He, of course, does have the Chase variant in the set, which I am not special enough to receive. So I guess we are going to have to move on to Aiden English himself. So taking a look at Elite 65 Aiden English, guys, you guys can see they did do the True Effects head scan as they do with every figure nowadays. And I think they nailed it. I like the likeness a lot. You know, compared to his other head scan, which was more of a cartoon look, the other head scan was really nice, but this is obviously more realistic. It looks good. I really like the beard 
beard that they gave him here. I think it does have a very strong resemblance to Aiden English. Going down into the torso, they did give him the Daniel Bryan or Jack Gallagher torso. It's pretty much, it is the Jack Gallagher torso, uh, the lighter skin tone, obviously. And this is not accurate, in my opinion. Aiden English is absolutely jacked, and if you don't believe me, go look at his Instagram page. The man is definitely fit. If you've ever seen him on WWE TV, I think that's a bit disappointing. They could have easily given him the Sheamus torso, and I think it would have worked a lot better. You do get these blank arms. His arms are probably better than this in, in real life, but I think this works. You know, I think that these are more of the Finn Balor, Seth Rollins mold, so I think these do work for a figure for Aiden English. On the belt, you just get, you know, a brown belt with a silver belt buckle on there. The rest of the tights are just mainly black. They're plain black, which obviously the Chase variant is a bit different. It has the nice brick designs with the spray-painted look on there, which is very nice, but this is the all-black look. And then in the boots, you just have black boots with like these two buckles painted on. Not a new belt or uh, boot mold. It is just obviously just decals placed over there. But I think it's a strong figure. I am happy with the Aiden English. Um, I, I, I am happy with it overall. However, we're going to compare it to my custom Elite Aiden English and see how it fares. So here's a look between my custom Elite Aiden English up next to the official Elite 65. And guys, you can see just the differences here. Uh, I did add... Um, black paint to the Aiden English Battle Pack arms and then I added it to a Sheamus Elite 46 torso and crotch. I popped some Xbox legs and then some Heath Slater lower legs and I pretty much, I mean this figure and the custom are pretty freaking similar man. Like I think that if maybe we did a few part switches we could make like the ultimate Aiden English. I, I would love to hear what your guys thoughts are about that. Should I make that fix up? Maybe we can do it on action figure surgery. That's what's so epic because now that we have all these new figures we can do more stuff with the newer figures on action figure surgery so that should make for some more exciting surgery for Dr. Whitekiss but here you go there's the comparison I would love to know what your thoughts are do you think this is better for him I think this is better man I don't know this I, I, this is head scans better but that torso man that ripped torso is nice but now that we've covered Aiden English guys let's take a look at Rusev's accessories so with Rusev, guys, you don't get near the accessories that you got with Aiden English, but you do get some cool accessories. Starting out first, we do have his Happy Rusev Day shirt, which is that same Mattel mold. You know, they're sort of thin. They don't fit the best, but they don't fit the worst. I think that they're pretty nice. I mean, I may cut the sleeves off of this, or I may just throw my custom shirt from Ring of Clothing onto the Elite Rusev because I think that you guys will see in the comparison that I think it's a lot better as far as the shape and everything. Plus, it doesn't have sleeves on it, so it is more accurate. You can even see on the back of the Rusev packaging that he does have a sleeveless shirt on, which I think is more accurate. But anyways, we do get the key to the city, the city of Plob... Plob... Plivy... Plobdiv... Plob... Plobby... And moving on to the hands, we do get the uh, You Can't See Me hands. I honestly don't know why we got these. Um, I think that fists and open hands would have been completely fine. Obviously, open hands do come on the Rusev figure in the packaging. And they gave us the You Can't See Me slash Finn Balor entrance hands. So I don't know why they gave us these, but I guess I will take it anyways. Maybe these will go into a different figure down the line that we could use them for. So that is pretty much it for Rusev's accessories, guys. Now that we've covered that, let's get into Rusev himself. So getting into Rusev, guys, honestly, I'm not a fan of this head scan. I think a lot of people overrated this head scan. I think that maybe the likeness is there. It's like the beard is a bit too thick or like the eyes aren't painted right or something. We, got, we can like pull up the box right here. You guys can see what I'm talking about. It's like, I don't know, it kind of looks like Rusev, but at the same time, it's just not there for me. I think that I may repaint it. I think that maybe I can bring this thing to life or something. But uh, compared to my custom head scan that BEW made me like two years ago, I think that the custom may win. But we'll take a look at that down the line. But I don't know. I'm not really feeling this head scan. I think I like the custom a lot more. I do love that they finally gave us a short-haired Rusev. I know that we have been waiting on that forever. A lot of fans of the, you know, the WWE figures have been waiting a long time for that. I think that this torso is nice. I think they did redo the chest hair. It looks a lot more even. It looks a lot more authentic. Of course, you do have its same arm mold. Finally, we get a Rusev Day attire. I know that this is one of my favorite attires he's ever worn. I love the Rusev Day with the purple and gray. He's been rocking this a while. He may even rock this to this day, so it's still accurate to this point. Um, I think that uh, they could have, you know, filled that in. You know, it's not a huge deal, but they did blank that out. Maybe if you fill in the belly button with some white. You won't get that little hole there for his belly button interrupting the Rusev Day. He's trying to ruin Rusev Day with that belly button. But spinning the figure around here, you guys will see the nice white, gray, and purple stripes going around the trunks. I think they did an excellent job on this. Again, I do love this attire. I love Rusev, one of my favorite wrestlers on the main roster, so I am always happy for a Rusev Day. 
Um, here's the legs. These Honestly, these legs look new. If you compare them to Rusev legs from his older elites, I think that these are more broader, not as, you know, ripped up or not as detailed or, you know, cut, if you will. Uh, going down, he does have the large knee pads, which I'll, I will replace even if they are accurate. I just like the smaller knee pads better for, you know, posing and ish like that. He is currently the Iron Man champion on MDT television, so uh, we're going to have to fix him up nice. And then you have my favorite part of his attire with the Machka on the freaking boots. I kind of wish that they said Rusev Day. I think I would like that better if they said Rusev Day, but I'm not complaining. I do like the Machka boots. Those are freaking fresh nasty. But now that we've covered Rusev, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at some elite comparisons for Rusev. So here you guys can see my custom Elite Rusev up next to the Elite 65. And what do you think, guys? I mean, the head scans are pretty nice. Even though his beard fell off right here, he pulled a freaking Neville. I just filled it in with paint because I tried to do... I think I heated up his head or something and the beard fell off or I was... Pu I don't know what happened, but his beard fell off there. So that is unfortunate. Could not glue that back. But you guys can see here's the Iron Man Championship. We'll slide that off. Here's the T-shirt. And uh, I don't know, this t-shirt's definitely nicer, it's better quality, you know, it stretches out better, it is sleeveless and all, but I mean, comparing the two, I mean, they're pretty much accurate. This is what I was talking about with the legs, look at the leg mold, this is more of a, you see, it's more beefy, it's not as cut like these, and I think that is a new leg mold, so that's cool to see, but I am happy to get that Rusev Day attire, I'm very happy with that. Um, again, maybe I can repaint this head, and maybe we can uh, bring some life to that, make it look more like Rusev. I just think the eyes look better over here but the uh, overall look may be better over here. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below, but that is your Rusev Elite comparison between my custom and the official Elite 65. And here's a quick shot of the new Elite 65 Rusev with the custom t-shirt on it. I think it looks freaking fresh nasty. But that pretty much does it for today's WWE Elite Figure 2-in-1 review on the brand new Elite 65, Aiden English and Rusev. Guys, the final judgment on these two is that, uh, honestly, I think if you want an updated Rusev figure, I think this is a pretty good figure. Again, the head skin's not the best, in my opinion, um, but with some good customization or possibly a head swap with a custom head skin, you could make it look a lot better. Um, I think that it is a perfect figure from the neck down, honestly. I think it is that nice of a figure. For Aiden English, I think that it's a perfect figure for Aiden English. You know, the torso isn't what I would choose, and, um, you know, there are a few things I don't like about the glasses not fitting the head, but for the most part, if you just want an Aiden English Elite in your collection, then it is definitely something you want to pick up. If you want Rusev Day in your pick fed, if you want Rusev Day on your WWE figure roster, then head over to Ringside Collectibles, pick up these two figures, and update your roster. But, I mean, the, the these two figures are pretty nice. Um, I think that they're going to be very solid when we rank Elite 65 head to toe. So it's going to be very interesting to see where these guys come up. But I think they are both very strong. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the review. If you did, please leave a like and comment down below what you think of both figures. I apologize if these reviews are taking so long. It's because I didn't get my figures until just today. But it is what it is. The show must go on. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.